Welcome to XL Array Formula Series, uh, trick number 14, part 5. Hey, in part 5, we're going to do everything we did in part 1, 2, 3, 4, all super fast. Here it is. Um, we want to calculate the expected return, the standard deviation for individual stocks in a portfolio, stock A, B, C, and then we want to calculate expected returns for the portfolio and standard deviation. All right. Uh, Expected return for the stock, we're going to say alt equals these individual values right there times the probability for each one. And since we're going to copy this formula over and we want the probabilities locked, we're going to hit F4 once, twice, three times. Control Shift Enter and copy and drag it over. Standard deviation, we're going to say equals square root open parentheses, and then sum, open parentheses, open parentheses, open parentheses, because we need to take the deviations, square them, and then multiply them by the probability. The deviations will be these values right here, minus the expected value, close parentheses, those are the deviations, so we need to then caret 2 to square them, and then we need to close parentheses and multiply times our probabilities, but these probabilities need to be locked going to the side, so I'm going to hit F4, F4, F4. Close parentheses on the sum, close parentheses on the square root, control shift enter. Click and drag. I'll blow that up and hit F2. That is the formula right there. Control shift enter. Now, expected return on the portfolio. It simply is an array formula, this times this times this. So all the individual uh, stock returns we've estimated times their weights times their probability. So right here, I'm going to say equals SUM, open parentheses, weights times the probabilities times, uh, I'm sorry, weights times the individual returns we've estimated times the probabilities, close parentheses, control, shift, enter. And now the big uh, final one, we have to do a bunch of complicated steps, but we're going to say equals square root, S-U-M, and then parentheses, 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 M-M, mult, and we're going to have to do our trick where we take uh, the weights times our individual uh, stock returns, comma, and we have to do our trick where we need to simulate the number ones listed in a vertical array, in essence, row, 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 that are based on how many columns we have. So we're going to do transpose and then column, and we're going to list these close parentheses, and since column would give us 3, 4, 5, we're going to caret 0, because any number raised to the 0 is 1. Close parentheses on that transpose, close parentheses on the mamult. That gives us our returns for the given states. Then we need to subtract from this our, and I don't want to type it again, so I'm going to click at the beginning and space to turn that to text, and then I'm going to click here and hit F2. We need this very formula. I'm going to control C, I mean highlight it, control C, escape. Click right here, backspace. Very carefully click at the end and say minus all of that. Control V. And then we need to close parentheses on that. And that looks like the green run right there because that's the uh, state return minus the expected portfolio return. And we need to square that. And then close parentheses. There's that brown run right there. And multiply that times the probabilities. And then close that, and it looks like when I hit close parentheses, we had one too many parentheses. So I'm going to click right there and backspace, click at the end, and then close parentheses and control shift enter. There is our expected return. That is all in high speed motion. If you want to see all the details, look at part one, two, three, four. I'll hit F2 one more time. And again, thanks to Dominique from MrExcel.com discussion board for this cool trick right here. All right, we'll see you next series.